Well, in today's video, I thought I would highlight my favorite machine in my whole collection. And that would be this one right here. This is my 1989 Honda Pilot, but it's not stock. This one has a 670 Skidoo snowmobile swapped engine in it. So this, like I said, by far my favorite machine in my whole collection. The Pilots are just amazing machines. Like even in the stock form, like that one's all stock there. But this one has got a Skidoo snowmobile swapped engine. So a 670 Rotax, about 115, 120 horsepower-ish. So this one came from a 96 MXZ, the motor did. Um, yeah, so they're a twin cylinder, two stroke still. But in this video, I thought I'd show a few highlights of this. I had a few other videos with this thing out running around, a couple other ones, you know, showing more details on the motor and that kind of swap and everything with the specifics there. But, yeah, let's just uh, get right to it. Here's some highlights of this thing in action. So, yeah, if you're new to the channel, please follow along. Check out my other videos. Help me grow this thing. Thanks. Well, I didn't quite get up this hill. I was about halfway up it and the back end kind of slid to the right. It shot me into the grass over there and kind of lost traction and kind of right on the edge of tipping. It never looks as steep as what it is, but we're a little ways up here. <laughs>
down on this thing kind of show these so yeah normally these were a 400 cc two stroke said but this one now has a 670 in it <clears throat> other than that everything else was kind of the way it was originally done so these are a forward and neutral reverse transmission all the controls are up on the dash here so you got throttle the thumb front and rear brakes all on the handlebar um, all of the normal electronics are still hooked up with this one with the 670 motor so the start button still works the same instead of the choke we got a primer system there from the snowmobile motor so let's show this over here so back there it's hiding there's the 670 oh let me go to the other side here get a little better view of it this was a pretty common conversion that you would see on some of these Honda Pilots people putting these snowmobile motors in them they seem to fit just right in there but there's a few unique things that you need to do to make them work so the first is these actually use the jet ski carbs instead of the normal round slide snowmobile carbs which would come out farther and then they'd interfere with the transmission there so with the jet ski carbs you can basically pipe these straight up and that's actually a little spark arrestor flame arrestor thing on there and then our intake comes up through here we've got air filter up on the top anybody that's a skidoo fanatic would probably say that this isn't a 670 motor since the head is red normally the 670s had a purple head on it but this head was painted and just to prove let's see if i can show it here if we look at the displacement right there 600 and 69 cc so this is a 670 it's um, so another unique thing is increased radiator fan on this. So this one fan is turned on with the key and just runs continuously. Also the stock gas tank was removed and this aluminum one was fabricated. which Somebody did a really nice job on this, fabricating this aluminum tank to fit in there. And the story on it that I got that it still wasn't enough gas so they added another little pony keg to it. And then over here on the side, we got oil reservoir. This one's not set up for oil injection anymore. It's pre-mixed. But this reservoir oils the rotary valve on the system. So basically, I'd keep that full of oil. The pipes are kind of interesting on these two. So it's essentially the snowmobile pipe, but exhaust flange has to be modified too to make these fit in there. So it's a real sharp turn there. And then up and around, kind of in the same configuration the stock pipe would be. Nice decals on here, powered by Skidoo. Um, this one also has some upgraded suspension to it. So we got work shocks on it. Uh, the front brakes were also upgraded to uh, disc brakes from a TRX 450, which that makes a huge difference. This thing's pretty darn fast. So the increased brakes really help. This thing came with some nice stickers on it. If one day speed kills me, don't cry because I'm smiling. There's that one, there's another kind of funny one on the front here. Oh, where did I see it? Oh yeah, there it is. There's absolutely no excuse for the way I'm about to act. 